So, as I was watching this game, I found myself getting a bit angry <clears throat> at the Chargers, especially at Justin Fields, and the reason I was getting angry was because every, the majority of snaps he got, he, um, instead of throwing it, he ran the ball, and the reason that made me mad, because we Everyone knows he can throw the ball very good. I mean, he has a strong arm, and you know he can. He has the ability to throw um, balls pretty much accurate, pretty much, and so he can. And when he threw the his first ball, his first ball, I think in the second quarter or late first quarter. I realized why he doesn't throw the ball much and that's because he literally has no one to throw it to because like every time he threw to his wide receivers like they would miss wide open catches and you know that made me mad because after seeing the game if I was a GM for the Chargers, I would honestly call up the Titans and make, I would have to make a trade, um, for the bond, um, DeAndre Hopkins, because we all know DeAndre Hopkins' talents are wasted on Titans, and the only reason he went to Titans is because they're the ones who offered him more money, and if that really wasn't the case, if it wasn't really about money, I think it, he would go to Patriots, the other um, franchise that, you know, offered him a deal. But since the Titans offered more to him, um, I guess he took that, which is okay. But yeah, if I was the LA Chargers GM, I would definitely have to make a trade for him because... Justin Herbert literally has no one to throw the football to. And, I mean, yeah, he just has no one. Like, no help. Like, it reminds me a bit of Justin Fields' case. Where, Justin Field, he, we all could tell he's pretty talented, but he runs the ball a lot. And be, that's because he doesn't have anyone now that he has, you know, DJ Moore, we see him kind of open up a bit. So I feel like that would be the same case for Justin Herbert. But yeah, overall, it was a pretty cool game. I mean, um, it was kind of boring. Um, it, yeah, it was kind of boring to watch, but um, yeah, it was a pretty cool game. Obviously, the Cowboys win, and congrats to the Cowboys, but don't put too much stock on Dak Prescott because, like I said, he won when he had, you know, he has multiple weapons. His wide receivers are, you know, very good, like wide receiver superstars, pretty much. So, Dak Prescott beat a guy with absolutely no one to throw the ball to when Justin Herbert had no weapons. And, you know, for the score to be as close as it was, considering Justin Herbert had no weapons, I think it was a pretty good, pretty good game for the LA Chargers and a really big tell for the Cowboys going into the bye. And I hope they fix that in the bye because they have like a week to, um, figure stuff out before they play next time but um <clears throat> yeah just not too much on that i mean he literally beat a guy with no weapons while he had you know several superstar wide receivers like cd lamb or something but um yeah overall i think it was a pretty good cool match um, obviously I wanted the Chargers to win, but they didn't because of the lack of 
weapons that Justin Herbert has, um, I would definitely look to trade immediately for that because we know how good Justin Herbert could be. Um, I think for him, it's only a matter of like the weapons we the team could get him because we, like I said, we all everyone knows how great Justin Herbert is. So yeah, I think for them it's only a matter of weapons for them. But um, overall, I think it was a pretty good uh, match. And um, yeah, but I'm going to leave it at that. Please do like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.